I'm Judy from Figure Savers. And I'm Janet, a coach at Figure Savers. And we wanted to talk to you a little bit today about um, a situation that happens to everybody. It's happened to us, I'm sure. It's it happened has. to us. Uh, it may have happened to you. It may not have happened to you. But we see it occasionally, and we want to present it here so we can help you with it. We understand in life that things can happen. We've all been there. And it can happen to fall off the wagon in phase one. Right. So when we fall off the wagon, a lot of people have decided it's better not to come into figure savers that week. It could be a feeling of frustration. I don't want to get on the scale. Exactly. <laughs> we get it. We get it. The point Judy and I are trying to make is that's the most important appointment to make sure that you do keep. Right, if you are really intending to get to your weight loss goal, we understand that there are gonna be weeks because of stress or parties or something where you fell off the wagon. And a lot of times what happens is when somebody does that, they end up having this defeatist attitude like, I messed it up, so I'm done. But we really don't want you having that kind of attitude. We get it if you mess up. There's no judgment here. We're not trying to you know, make you feel bad about yourself but we wanna help you get back on track if that is what you wanna do. Um, the other thing is, even if you don't wanna get back on track and you decided, I'm done, I'm not doing this diet anymore, we do want an opportunity to help you learn what the maintenance food, daily food framework is so that you don't gain your weight back. So the point that I would like people to understand is there's no shame there's no judgment here. We have seen it all come in. If you don't want to get on the scale, we will talk about that. It is better to get on the scale and get measured and move forward. But the education is what we want to put across to you. We want to show you on our in-body, it's the inflammation that gaining a pound takes 3,500 calories. So if somebody does gain six pounds, which I've seen happen in a week, we're gonna talk about it so you can understand what happened and then hopefully we'll make better choices the next time around. Right, really great point about that. If you had an overindulgence for a day or even two days and you got on your home scale at home and it said you were two or three pounds up, it is not fat because it not only takes 3,500 calories up to put on one pound of fat, you also have to take in your basal metabolic rate of calories. So if your basal metabolic rate is 1,200 or 1,500, you'd have to eat 1,200 or 1,500 plus 3,500 pounds, I'm sorry, 3,500 calories in order to gain a pound of fat. So what you're looking at is basically your insulin surging and then your kidneys holding water and that water has weight and what you're seeing on the scale is more than likely extra water weight, not fat. But the longer that you continue to go on your binge and eat off the protocol, the more, the more that will turn to fat and you'll continue to hold more water. The good news here is what I do see is when somebody does fall off the wagon and they come in for their appointment and we talk about it the next week that weight that came on that quickly, that weight usually just comes right off and the mindset is there and we just move forward. But we wanna see you, we wanna stay connected with you and we want you to feel good and learn something about the week and then continue to be successful in reaching your goal. Absolutely, you know, uh, like we said, the, we've been there, we've had to do the diet, you know, for several months when it was our turn and um, it's not easy to do for a long period of time. There are setbacks, people have setbacks, but the idea is keep your eye on the prize, get to your goal weight, get back on track. You know, it's, it's definitely not gonna help you if you just drop off and then don't come back in because you'll gain your weight back. You know, you don't, you don't wanna go from 900 calories on phase one to 2,000 calories. You don't wanna go from no sugar or carbohydrate to all of a sudden sugar or carbohydrate it's a great shock and a jolt to your body in a couple of different ways, and um, you're gonna gain weight back. And remember, we are truly here to help you. We are here to help you and support you. Think about the first reason you came to Figure Savers. That's what we are all about. We have support groups, and we wanna see you be successful. We do get concerned when people stay away. 
So we will call, we will send letters, but <laughs> please, please just come on in. Let's talk about it and just move forward in a positive direction. Awesome. Thanks we a lot. We will see you soon. Bye. Bye. Figure Savers is located in Columbia, Maryland.